hey sis and hey sparks and what's up and hello to my new subscribers it's montina here and my mission with this channel is to inspire educate and share information to help you thrive in life you thrive in love if that sounds good to you subscribe <laughs> so in this video i'm gonna wrap up here and thanks to my new viewers not sure if you came here from something i may have made or said about kevin samuels or dennis sperling or left a comment on like um, please act right with raul i like raul he's so funny but thanks for coming over to my um side of the youtube world even from i'll show you duke jackson's videos thanks for coming to my side of, of the youtube you know um to my youtube world so in this video you're over 40 let's talk about finances fun femininity and masculine men so i'm actually going to make sure i always keep notes here so i can stay on track um one thing about me if you're a new viewer my my videos tend to flow with my life so i actually saw one of my subscribers leave a comment on another video like you know her channel kind of flows with her life it's a little bit hard to follow and it's true um i don't have like an upload schedule i don't have you know i do stick on topics though life um love i used to talk a lot about business i have been in business um in 2023 to be 10 years nine years full time in business i've done really well and i used to do a lot of business videos but i found that you know my channel subscribers don't want to see business videos so they're over someplace else so in this channel it, again it flows so if you like my personality y'all you know just like how i look i, I don't know makeup I, I have one um lipstick but no no makeup <laughs> i just have fun i come home from the gym i have some little bit of time i'm in the kitchen and i just turn on my camera and make videos that's what i do so anyways, if you're over 40, sis, let's talk finances, fun, femininity, and masculine energy, men that you want to attract. If you want to get into a relationship, you want to watch this. So let's talk finances. So many of you all don't have deal breakers. You're talking about what I want, what, 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 what. Most of the time, I can sum it up for you, your deal breaker is a broke man, meaning you don't want someone that's going to come in that you have to take care of and you know you don't want it many of you tell me oh, i don't care it doesn't matter how much money it makes it does and so i used to be like that i did i did because i was really making a good income i started my business the first six months i made six figures but the second year i lost sixty thousand in business but we still were over six figures every year i've never had a year under six figures since 2014 2013 to 2014. but guess what it still matters <laughs> because with your finances you have responsibilities you probably may have some children um, you have your own bills that you're paying you have a lifestyle that you enjoy many of you like to travel we like to look good over 40 you have your self maintenance you have your self care which is different I have a book that I'll actually share that actually helped me understand okay that's different so you like beautiful things you like shopping in boutiques you like me I love pretty pretty jewelry my honey got me this and superman but hell i even like little things like you know for my apple watch so we we have grown accustomed to things that we enjoy so what i want to talk about is how that actually connects for you dealing with masculine energy men masculine energy men want to feel needed they want to do 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 i give them stuff to do hunty <laughs> so that you can be your beautiful joyful feminine awesome whole complete happy self they want to see you look good they want to they want to they want you to smell good they want you to be soft they want you to be joyful do things that make you happy but here's the thing if you are a six-figure earning woman your boss chick or maybe you've done well in your career as a professional you may think like you can't find a man that's at that level but here's the thing you don't necessarily need a man at that level so if you actually really think about it. and it doesn't blue collar what there are amazing men because in their 40s and 50s they should have their s-h-i-t together they should have a home now maybe it's not to your liking like my grandma kid she's twice with her she's like i don't want nobody moving up in my home i said mommy he'd have to move up in your home because you ain't going nowhere but we just kid about it just like you're right <laughs> many of you have really taken that away from a man that would want to provide for you because you have your own home y'all driving Bentley's, Mercedes, you know, BMW, Tesla. I drive BMW, I drive a Tesla. I get it. But you've taken some things away from that man that may want to provide for you. There are men that now that I'm meeting in their 50s that have literally been, I, I don't know that I've met a man in his 50s, even when I was dating, that was not in his career for 20 plus years. Like most of them had careers. I don't date entrepreneurs. That's, I don't like businessmen. It's not my preference. But they work. 
And men that work, I mean, at 40, 50 years old, you should have at least something together. But keep in mind, if they've gone through divorce, um, they may be paying alimony. Um, in some cases, their ex might be getting some of their retirement. So there could be some challenges, but at the end of the day, they should have something of substance of their own. Now, there are times when some may not have a home. Man, he just didn't invest in buying a home. You don't know. We, we, we add value to their lives. We inspire men. We bring so much joy. So just because he don't have a house, don't, don't be like, I don't want him. Some of y'all, I don't want him if he don't have straight teeth. And most of the time with men, and there are some men that just keep things in order, but sometimes they just don't take care of themselves. We know that. So think about it in those terms, but I've known men, you know, maybe he is staying with his mother. Now we kind of laugh about that, but maybe, maybe his mother or parents have needed him again. Maybe he's gone through some things, some divorce or things. And I'm not saying he's staying with someone because he's broke. He might be staying with someone because there's something going on with their specific situation and he's there helping them. I'm telling y'all, start getting to the nitty gritty with these conversations that you're having. The other thing here is, so in anyways, with the finance, he wants to do my masculine energy my amazing phenomenal superman which nope i don't show him online y'all ain't gonna see my man y'all ain't gonna see him in no videos he works he go out and pay mr charlie okay he, he don't want to do he, he don't even know really i think that i run like a youtube channel he's seen maybe a couple videos but he, he don't watch my videos he don't care but i am not responsible for bills i hold no responsibility he takes care of everything so i had to come in and look for ways to add value and you'll see actually starla in some of the comments in my videos add her comments to those our money goes into retirement it's the fun free do with the f we want money so think about ways you add value in that relationship because you can be with a masculine energy provider many on there you know he got to make six figures no sis Y'all hung up on the wrong things. You're not having conversations with women that are really being transparent with you. Not, not that they're being dishonest, but just being transparent. Men, you know, they can make 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year. If they're paying all the bills, you can still live a good lifestyle and marry because your money could be the, hey, I want to travel money. Hey, honey, you want to go do something money? Don't be selfish. The other thing is fun. You want to have fun in that relationship. Relationships should be fun okay you don't have to have all these highs lows and arguments and all these things have fun bring joy bring peace bring love bring excitement bring energy just bring it girl bring it montina i'll be tired okay cut down on your hours at work eat healthier go get your your body checked your thyroid checked why are you tired all the time men don't they don't want that <laughs> So you want to make sure that you're having fun. The next thing is, um, I want to put here, oh, your femininity. If you're if you're having challenges with being a soft woman or you're just loud all the time or, you know, real rough around the edges, someone might say, get with other feminine women. It'll soften you up. It really will. I was around a woman this past weekend and she said, well, my husband, you know, we long talk, but she said, my husband's not masculine. You know, this, and I said, you are. She was like, I, you are. I said, I can tell, you know, you fold in your hands, you know, actually, oh, oh, let me close this out. You fold your hands while we all talking and stuff. Don't do that. Be soft. Lower your voice. Talk a little slower. I talk, da -da 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 -da, but I'm learning. Talk a little slower. Flow a little bit. Smile. It, listen, be happy, be joyful. But, that femininity is, is not just how you look and what you wear and wearing pink and this and that. It's your flow and just be. Okay, April Mason does a phenomenal job helping women understand femininity. That's not my lane, okay? But that's her lane. She got an app for you. You're gonna be around other women. Um, I'm actually reading her book, Identity Switch, because I like to, I read everything. I chew the meats, but I do loans with everything. And I'm going to tell you, if you're struggling in that space, you want to be around other feminine women because it's automatically going to start softening you up. You're not going to, you just breathe differently. I've always been sweet and soft and feminine because my grandma is bougie as hell. Oh my God. <laughs> she had to get her oil camera. My other aunt, my aunt, my aunt Spongy, oh, when she walk, she stopped a room. I mean, I've been around women like that my entire life. And so it's been very easy for me because <laughs> they're so 
fun. They're so fun. So work on your femininity and get around women that, you know, and we as women know who's soft and who's not or who's sloppy. Like most of the time with feminine women, they're, they're pretty much very well put together. Um, gay men that have high level of feminine energy, like MJ Harris, he really has some great videos around femininity. I know some of y'all, I don't want to watch a gay man. It's not do what you do. But if you're not getting the results that is that you want, do something different. Okay. But he has some really good videos around just feminine energy. And again, I chew the meat, but I will watch anything, listen to anything, read anything. If I can get one nugget to make me better, that's the one nugget I need to be the best version of myself. Because guess what? That's what I want to be, the best version of myself. Okay, and the next one is uh, masculine energy men. They are the doers. If you don't understand masculine energy, feminine energy, I don't spend a lot of time on that in my videos, but the best book that really outlines this is Getting to I Do, How to Get Relationships Right or How to Do Relationships Right by Patricia Allen. Okay, I, I'm telling y'all, I know these spaces, but she really has chapters on it. Like the, the entire book is just all about masculine, feminine energy. Once you understand and identify with one or the other in your relationship, it makes your life so much easier. Okay, so again, over 40, understand your finances is fun, femininity, and your masculine energy. This is so, so, so important. So who's going to be the spark to ignite the conversation? What brought you here? And what's going to keep you coming back? Leave me a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.